Hello everyone, hope you are learning well. In this video, we will discuss the last problem of lead code weekly contest 303. It's a hard level problem. The problem name is number of excellent pairs. So the problem statement says that you are given a zero index positive integer array nums and a positive integer k. A pair of numbers num1, num2 is called excellent if the following conditions are satisfied. Both the numbers num1 and num2 exist in the array nums and the sum of number of set bits if or of these two numbers and and of these two numbers is greater than or equal to k now where or is obviously or operation and and is and operation bitwise and operation right so there are two conditions both the numbers should be in the array and if you take the bitwise or and bitwise and of these two numbers then the sum of these two values the number of set bits in these two values should be greater than or equal to k right k is the given number so return the number of distinct ex excellent pairs two pairs a comma b and c comma d are considered distinct if either a is not equal to c or b is not equal to d for example 1 comma 2 and 2 comma 1 are distinct also note that a pair num1 comma num2 such that num1 equals to num2 can also be excellent if you have at least one occurrence of num1 in the array right uh, let's look into the example so 1 2 3 and 1 k equals to 3 so we can see the excellent pairs are as follows 3 comma 3 because 3 and 3 and 3 all 3 are both equal um, and present in the array right uh, and also the number of set bits is 2 plus 2 that is 4 right similarly for 2 comma 3 uh, there will be again two pairs right there will be again uh, two pairs so if you, if you go there so then we have the total the total will be uh, 1 0 2 can, 10 can be represented as 1 0 and 1 3 can be represented as 1 1 so if you take the and and if you take the and and uh, or operation of these two numbers and sum of those two bits so that will be a commit out greater than 3 and so on so total number of pairs will be 5 we'll look into the, this example and then the example number two five one one so there are no excellent pairs right so um, the constraints are uh, the, the the count of numbers can be 10 raised to the power 5 and each number can be 10 raised to power 9 right so just a second okay let me first tell you with the help of an example so suppose we have two numbers num1 and num2 so if, if you are familiar with these things that and operation and of num1 comma num2 or i would say set bits set bits in and of num1 and num2 plus set bits in or of num num1 and num2 equals to equals to the total number of set bits in n1 and n2 so if you have two numbers n1 and n2 and if you take the bitwise and of these two numbers so you will get you will get a number let's let's take an example right let's take 2 comma 3 so 2 can be written as 1 comma 0 and 3 can be represented as 1 comma 1 so let's how many total set bits are here here we have one here we have two so total three set bits are there right now let's take the and of these two numbers so two and three so it will come out to be one comma zero right one comma zero how many total set bits are here it will be it is just one right let's take or two comma two or three so this will come out to be one one how many set bits are here this this is two so what are what is the sum of these two it is three so here you can see the total number of set bits in these two numbers is also three and the total number of set bits in and and or of the and and or of these two is also three let's take one more example suppose we take five and what should we take let's take nine right so this can be represented as one zero one this can be represented as one zero zero one right total number of set bits are so two here and two here four right now let's take the and of these two two and sorry five and just a second so suppose i take five and nine 
So what will be and of these two? It will be zero one zero one one zero zero one. It will one zero 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 right. This will be the and of these two. So that means zero 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 one. Only one bit is set, right? Let's take the or of these two. Zero one zero one one zero zero one. This will be one, right? This will be zero. This will one one. So total number of set bits in these two is three. So five or nine. it comes out to be 1101 and total number of set bits is 3 so this property is very crucial for um, solving this problem right so once you know this na the problem is very easy it 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 will not be a hard level problem probably knowing this thing is the hardest part of the problem right now all you need to do you have a you have numbers in range of 10 raised to the power 9 right so how many bits do you need to represent a number uh, Uh, which which goes up to 10 to power 9 probably 30 or 31 bits right these are the only bits now all you need to do all you need to do is take a frequency array take a frequency array sorry take a frequency array and then what you do you basically keep a count of how many numbers are there which have uh, i as the number of set bits right how many numbers are there like for example suppose we have a number 2 so it has it has a set bit of 1 like total number of set bits are 1 and suppose you have 1 as well so all the numbers having total number of set bits as 1 keep them in a set keep them in a set we need set because we need to remove duplicates duplicates will not be of any use for us right so that's the reason we are creating a set here right so now what will happen you will create something like a frequency array so let's take a map which will have key as integer so this will represent the number of set bits comma set of integers right and these will be the set of integers these will be set of integers uh, which have this number of set bits right you create this now all you need to do then the maximum value of this can go up to 30 or 31 right 30 or 31 all you need to do traverse both the traverse it like for i equals to 0 to i less than 30 i plus plus right and then for j equals to zero j less than thirty j plus plus now if the number of set bits if i plus j is less than k to just skip it just skip it else else what we need to do uh, you you just increment your answer so answer will be answer plus count that you get from these two things right what 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 is that map of get of i dot size why because how many numbers are there which have i as the number of set bits into map of get j dot size right so this this is the only thing that you need to do and just finally return your answer return your answer so the first thing in the problem was knowing this thing knowing this property this this property is the main thing once you know this once you once you detect once once you try to uh, come out with that one all you need to do count the number of distinct values that have uh, this number of set bits and then all you need to do is check uh, check for all the possible combinations and the number of possible combinations will be very low because the number of set bits can go just up to 30 or 31 right just add equal to and then we are good to go right um so let's look into the code code is pretty easy um again we can see on line number 4 i have created a map which has integer as the key and set as as set as the value now i've just added i've just added the hash sets initially on line number 6 and 7 just so that the code becomes simple that is the only reason you can do afterwards as well now for each number i have calculated what is the number of set bits and then i have added that into the corresponding set right so i have added that into the corresponding sets now um, on line number 22 we can see we have started we have started the loop the nested loop that now check for each number of possible combination of the set bits i is also representing set number of set bits j is also representing number of set bits right now check if if the sum of these two set bits is less than k that means it's not a valid pair else if these two are forming a valid pair so what are the corresponding numbers how many numbers are there for each number of set bits so that will be represented by count 1 and count 2 count 1 will be map.get of i dot size and count 2 will be map.get of j dot size 
because that is a hash set so you'll 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 get to know the number of number of integers that that satisfy this condition you just multiply it and just add it to your answer and return it so yeah that's it for the solution hope you learned something new from this video do do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel and yeah this is uh, this is more or less related to the uh, uh, properties of set bits so uh, i would say uh, to solve these type of problem we can we can we can solve uh, i would say we can practice with uh, 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 some more uh, problems related to bit manipulation and then probably will be good to go so yeah uh, uh, see you in the next video take care bye bye